All right, here's a look at the Bayliner 245 exterior. Boat comes with an anchor. Does come with this tandem axle galvanized trailer. Hull's in nice shape. Does have bottom paint. Rub rail. Has a few nicks and scratches on it. Shines pretty good. Could use a waxing. The, uh, there is a scrape right here. Not very deep, but it's noticeable. Shore power. Does have uh, hydraulic trim tabs. It's got a Merc Alpha 1 outdrive. 3 blade 19 pitch propeller. All the boots, um, shift cable, boot, bellows, all that's in nice shape. A little bit of a swim platform, a climber board ladder, a little bit of uh, repair needed right here. We'll touch that up with some gel coat repair. There's your uh, water fill, your waste pump out, and your gas cap. Um, the hull is in nice shape. I mean, it's they don't have any uh, any structural damage to it, and like I said, a, a good wax and or buffing would make it shine again, real nice. All right, here's a look at the uh, Bayliner 245 Sierra. Um, here, uh, the aft cabin. Nice shape, nice mattress, a um, lot of room in here. You got your filler cushions for the forward bed, your eyes and glass enclosure. There's the uh, nav light. Upholstery's in nice shape, fabric. It has a light stain right here. You can see that might just come out with a little cleaning. Um, shore power panel, battery charger, water heater, receptacles, range, all that. A lot of storage on the boat. There's the boot cover for the bimini top. It's more storage. Um, stereo missing the faceplate. Some miscellaneous uh, paperwork for the boat. Sink with hot water, an alcohol and electric range. Your microwave. The lounge, all that interior and that upholstery is in real nice shape. Here's a uh, little bit of damage on this vinyl right here from this seat cushion being put back in. <clears throat> Somebody had forced it and scuffed the, uh, the vinyl here. There's your carbon monoxide detector. Curtains, all intact. Headliner, real nice. The smooth vinyl type. Easy to clean. Tables in nice shape. Carpet, some minor stains. Probably looks worse in the video, but uh, it's not bad. <clears throat> Little uh, access panel here under the step to get to the mid cabin uh, build. There's your toilet. Sink with hot water, shower. That's all clean, that's nice shape. Now we'll go outside, I'll show you the uh, cockpit. It's got brand new, never used. This is the first time this snap-in carpet's been used. We just took it out of the brand new package. So that's like new. Seats are in nice shape. Here's a nice option right here. Forward or backward facing seating. Nice lounge. Um, driver's seat's in nice shape. Let's have tilt steering. Not sure if the VHF radio works. It does come on, but it doesn't make any sound.
this up. Yeah. I do believe, I think this latch is broken right here. As you can see, it's missing the tumbler there. So it still stays shut, but uh, you have a walkthrough windshield here. Nice big opening, nice deck with a little seat up front. Does have an anchor. <clears throat> Steps to walk up through. Cup holders. Uh, again, it does have the full camper top. All well, the speakers are intact. Um, transom shower. And then this seat here. Give me a second. Okay, pull that out. And this seat sits up like that. <clears throat> and that's in nice shape. Does have the walkthrough door. And that's a good look at the interior. Alright, we're on the Bay Liner 245. Getting ready for uh, a little test drive. jumps right on plane. Uh, we got a full tab down right now. So I'll bring the tabs up. Thank you. 